What's up everybody? My name is Lisa for those of you that don't know. So I was moved to make a video today and um, forgive but don't forget. Okay. And that doesn't mean so much like holding on to your anger or your resentment. It just means allow yourself to forgive others for harms done, including yourself, but don't forget where you've come from, what you've moved yourself out of, okay? Um, even when you enter these, some of you are like even entering, it's like if you started a job, if you were working at one job and you like allowed, you know, people in your work environment to get like all up in your business or whatever like that, but now you have an opportunity to move to a new place of business. And it's like, learn from your past, you know, don't forget. It's like, forgive like what's happened. Forgive yourself for um, putting yourself into those position, into that position or whatever. And forgive the people that may have like been talking trash about you or whatever it was, whatever the case may be. Um, I'm just using this as an example. So you understand what I'm meaning exactly, because it's not so much like, where you are not forgetting what's been done because you're holding on to it in anger. It's it's forgiving, but not forgetting the lesson that has been achieved through whatever it was that caused you heartache. Okay. So overcoming the heartache part of it and just moving forward um, with a different approach, okay, with a different attitude. Yeah, showing up more solid in you. Okay, that's what I heard. And this goes like, it's like in all cases, like with your friendships, because there may be people coming around. Okay, there's a new moon. Uh, I, I think it's on Sunday. I'm not sure of the exact time. You know, Sunday, give or take a day, depending on where you are. Um... So the new moon is all about, well, some people use it for releasing. For me, it's like the beginning, you know, so it is releasing old habits, but, and, and beginning, um, you know, the, a new process. Okay. Restarting, um, you know, a new, uh, health plan, you know, or, um, you know, like I want to add more, uh, resistance training into my into my workouts, you know, so that's like something new that I'm going to be incorporating, um, with this new moon, but, um, you know, just think about what it is that you want. Think about what it is that you've learned from the past, you know, like this past 2021 and even like the relationships that have ended and maybe relationships that are restarting. Okay. It's just like boundaries. I'm hearing boundaries. Okay. Hopefully you've learned to set some boundaries and some limits in your life with people and with places and with even spending habits. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Queen of swords. You see what I'm saying? Like it's some of you, um, See, somebody's, some of you may not be talking, but I do feel like there's, there's people that may be rushing in. Okay. I just heard a close encounter. Okay. Close encounter with maybe some of you have had a close encounter with conflict or, um, recently. Okay. But it's like, you've learned from the past, like how to handle yourself, you know? So it's like, there's, there's this balance of emotions coming in. Okay. It's, it's, and you see how the there's this bull sitting next to her. So it's like, even this stubborn bull isn't resisting. So I feel like there's something here. There's been a lesson learned for sure. In it's like the release of the resistance, you know, it's observing without saying anything. Okay. It's, um, Yeah, see, it's like, she's the queen of swords. The queen of swords learns from heartache, right? But she's not speaking about it. She's just kind of like observing and just is going to move forward and approach life differently. 
and people differently and places differently and just all situations differently. All right, what's the advice here for the collective? What card? Yeah, see, truth be told. See, I feel like this is this is going hand in hand. Like I feel like somebody is about to reveal something to you. Okay. This is also some sense of wisdom. Somebody else has gained some wisdom as well. Okay. And somebody is going to be um sharing this expression here. Okay. So you're being advised. I feel like the advice with the sword down is to listen, okay? And um, also just with how we started off this whole message was um, forgive, but don't forget. And I'm also um, hearing the balance of, of giving and receiving. So it's like, whatever, whoever this is, because I feel like somebody's showing up um, with some sort of, I'm hearing heart on their sleeve. Okay. So this is more about, um, yeah. And see the mask is off. There's something about the mask coming off. All right. But there's been some sort of lesson here. Okay. <coughs> I was just drawn to the 14 and then, um, it made me think of the temperance card. So this has all been about divine timing. Um, it's the card of Sagittarius. We're in Sagittarius season. Okay. Um, so some, this might happen around December 14th is that that's still the Sagittarius season, right? So, um, or in like the next 14 days, you know, I don't know. So, um, and 14 adds up to a five. So this is a significant change. I, I feel like everything's changed. All right. But forgive but don't forget and let, um, so maybe like just moving forward in whatever new relationships or new industries I'm hearing new, new, whatever you're doing new or differently, it's like just do moving forward cautiously, but not at the point of where you're just like, um, you know, overbearingly um, resisting or whatever. It's like, um, it's just moving forward confidently because you know how to carry yourself. Okay. The queen of swords always does. All right. She's, she's smart as a whip that woman. All right. And I'm talking like whatever gender you identify with, like if you're in this queen of swords energy, it's like, you, you know about it. Okay. Like you're a very wise person. Okay. You've learned from your mistakes. Even if you haven't, uh, voiced all of your knowledge, you have it within you. Okay. So, um, I do look at the doe eyes here. I do feel like there is some sort of apology coming in and I just feel like it's, it's your advice here is to proceed with, um, you could be getting a phone call because the phone just rang there. But, um, yeah, it's just like move slowly, you know, see what, what whoever has to offer or wherever's handling and then just go back. You know, I feel like it's more about like sitting, like watch and observe. Okay. I feel like the past has taught us, uh, maybe, um, yeah. So like I'm hearing lighten our approach, you know, maybe, maybe you've been somebody that's like come on very strong before. And so now it's like, you've gone through this whole process of healing and learning and it's not so much that you're icy. Okay. It's just that you've learned you, it, it took heartache to teach you these lessons to be a little bit more balanced within your emotions. Okay. And, um, that's like where this temperance card comes in. You know, it's all been about divine timing. It was all about your feeling. Okay. So be gentle with yourselves, you know, still. Okay. I always am. I'm just this huge promoter of self-love, right? Okay. I'm going to show you some rose quartz here. I'm also being guided to, um, do a video 
uh, like, um, Reiki and the, sh for, with Reiki and, you know, cause I am also a Reiki master. So in something with the, sh the, the chakra system. So I'm going to be doing that. Yeah. See, happy surprise. Something very good is about to happen. It feels very unexpected. Okay. I, I'm, I'm hearing like childlike wonder. I, I feel like because I just lost my words, I feel like it might leave you like that because that's how unexpected it is. Okay. So, um, what's at the bottom light, see the light within yourself and everyone else. Exactly. It's this forgive, but don't forget. Right. Yeah. Whatever this is, whatever this is, that's going to happen. It's like, I do feel like it brings a lot of healing to yourself and to the other people involved. I also feel like you, I mean, I'm not going to like, like I, I read my, my messages, you know, I got some heavy hitters <laughs> like that really watch me and you are an example. We, we are all an example. It doesn't matter. Like, whether you have an, a YouTube channel or, you know, if you're, you know, center stage or, or not, it's just like how you show up in the world, you know, um, understanding that it's not always going to be the way that it is right now. Okay. Uh, I'm also being guided. Yeah. See, there is chapters ending here. Okay. Hello and goodbye. You'll soon see that this change will make things better. So I'm hearing steer the course. Okay. Somebody could have like, you could have done like a 180 or something. Okay. Read, um, read. Okay. There could be some reading that you need to do, but this is, um, water saying drink water. And it says, listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. Okay. So this is about trusting yourself. Okay. For some of you, this is, it, it says brothers and sisters. So for some of you, this is like a family member that is going to share something with you. Um, but also brothers and sisters, it's like, you know, we are all one, you know, so we're all like each other's brothers and sisters because we're all like connected. Okay. So it's like just really understanding that, like, like not, um, placing so much judgment on others and rather, um, you know, granting the forgiveness. Okay. So, you know, uh, let's see, is there anything else here? One more card. Okay. Here. Yeah. See coming together. There's definitely, this is two of cups. Okay. This is emergence. This is like, the, um, is for some of you, it could be a father. Okay. This is like a father and son is what I first, first heard, but this is also this healing energy within yourself. It's like, whatever this is, whatever has transpired between you and this person, or just like the lessons that you've learned, it's, it's been very healing to your inner child. And so it's like with this healing, with this understanding, with this lesson that you have, um, embraced it's like that the student um has now become the teacher you know that kind of thing so um many of you are stepping into a new uh a new role and it doesn't necessarily mean like you're stepping out into the public for some of you it could be but it's it's just mostly um working with others. It's, it's, it's understanding. It's a better understanding of how to show up in your relationships. Okay. And this has become clear to you due to the past and the relationships that you've experienced endings with or difficulty with in the past. 
because the queen of swords she's she's very loving but it's like she's achieved a balance with your with her love and because it's it's although we can always show up and be kind um maybe we don't overgive you know it's like she's learned not to overgive okay this is why she's sitting here and she's listening to what's being said before she decides to use this knife and cut somebody out of her life or not <laughs> because the queen of the king of swords comes in and just cuts people out like no problem but the queen of swords she'll listen so i do feel like there's a lot of unexpected um, callers coming in or just, you may just run into somebody unexpectedly, but, um, the advice that I'm getting is to listen, listen before you speak, listen before you respond. And there is, uh, whatever this is, it's, there's a lot of healing attached to it, but it says a happy surprise. So I'm going to go with the fact that it's going to make you feel good. Okay. <laughs> Maybe even like childlike. Okay. So could be somebody from your past, even from your childhood or whatever. Okay. So there you have it guys. I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. And, um, yeah, if you're interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. Bye.